les verts. On prend les choses de loin, non Oui. Hey. What's he doing now? Nothing. Perhaps nothing. What? All the servants have gone. Cleve is gone. Silly old bugger. Should know better. He was in Napoleon's old guard. And some of the young men, too. I know he's going to flap. I know those mustachios. Seen them, shot them, coming at me. Bayonets twirling. Teeth bared like mad horses, making faces at me. Loyal to you, though. And I'd have given him the boot long since. It's more loyal to his emperor. It's not his emperor. We stopped that, sent him packing. We'll stop him now as well. Don't know when he's beat, Borne. Put him down deep this time. You swore you would never march again. I know. Well? I did. I shall not fight. Please. Yes. I've had a belly full of fighting too much. <laughs> but I never before. Not in all those years in Spain, come up against Napoleon, his very self. None of us did, not even Wellington. And what should I do if I left Wellington to fight without me? <laughs> hey? Could never look him in the eye again. Not that I ever did. I must go, Lucille. This last time. I fear it might end without me. It's my work. It's what I do. I'm good at it. I was. I shall come. I cannot lose you. What, you? <laughs> to spy for Borne? <laughs> Perhaps. No, no. It's what? Je me tais. Je ferme tous Martin. Scratched his bum. He says, Bony lad, this out of the fun. My rifleman will win the day over the hills and far away. Oh, the hills and all the main, through Flanders, Portugal, and Spain. King George commands and we obey over the hills and far away. Good 
guard, Your Royal Highness. It is not a game we Dutch play. Which is why I gave you young men for your staff, all good cricketers. You've Tom Dog at the other end. I gave you him and I gave you Sharp. Where is Sharp? Duty? Sharp bowls fiendish. You must learn. All of you, you and the Belgians, do you good, serve you well. We are determined we shall, sir. I commend you, warn them they've been picked for our team now. They'll not fight for Bonaparte again, sir. Your Royal Highness. The Prince of Orange. And they wanted to give him command over me. Better counsel prevailed. <laughs> you are beat only by a whisker, your Royal Highness. But surely, Baron, like you, the Prince played cricket at Eton. His Highness has played everything but uh, learnt very little anywhere. Though I've done my best. Eton and Oxford flowed over him without so much as ruffle his hair. Berlin quite entertained him. Excuse me, Chris. The chair, the chair. Bell, bell, young Rosendale. <laughs> and France is in her condition. And what is her condition, Aunt? What? Her condition. No business of yours, Johnny. And you are beyond the pale. I shall not receive your... your... You can count on it. You may not present her. Go away, young woman. Oh. <laughs> not sharp, She's quite charming, you know. I know. Might we not have invitations to the ball? It's the event of Brussels. She is another man's wife. Come to that, so is Lady Frances, who wanders off so happily into the trees with our esteemed commander. Yes, however, her husband is not here to see it. I'm sure you're very brave, but aren't you just a little apprehensive? Of what? Of her husband. Ah. Would be, were he here. But he ain't. I looked at the list. Did you think of glancing at the Prince of Orange's list? Silly Billy's list don't apply to Sharp. Half-pay captain. Your half-pay captain got his list to Colonel by making up the numbers on Orange's staff. Colonel? <coughs> oh, God. It's not just his wife, do you see? Other considerations. Such as I took quite a lot of his money as well as her, which will encourage him to seek me out. I don't doubt at all. Servant, aunt. Sure. Jane. You. Take this invitation to Lord Rosendale. Bonnie has humbugged him. I shall go back and see more. Come on. Hey, Judge Cavanier! Prepare to 
If we... You are not received. Not the damn ball. What will you do when you meet Richard? Run. Do you wish me dead? No. I wish my husband dead. You have not faced battle before. What do you know of it? A great deal. Richard rarely talked of it, but... I have thought the field of battle to be very noisy, very confusing, and very deadly. The thought occurs that one is in as much danger from one's own side as from the enemy. For nobody ever really knows what might be happening. For the black fog of the powder and the intensity and speed of the onslaught. Often... Oh, you are a witch. You do be a witch. Yes, you are. Find him. Shoot him. Or cut him down from behind. Kill him on that gory field where one body more or less matters little. With gun. Sword, or the hooves of your great charger, which you ride so magnificently. I ache to be it. Do it. The French may do it for you. Us. Richard's given them every chance for years. They can't be relied on. If you haven't the stomach, there are those who will do it for pay here in Brussels. I still have some. Some. I shall do it myself. Your invitation to the ball, my lord. Sharp is to be killed. Yes. He is to be killed, John. Yes. I shall find opportunity in battle. Find him and do it. Then I'll be free to become Lady Rossendale. Ah. Oh. I'll what? Mother, you see... Yes. Bugger your mother. I'll tell you a word of a lie now, Mr. Doggett, sir. But I have never, ever seen a horse of better action. And very few a finer frame. So we say, uh, five guineas earnest money and bind a bargain? Oh. Sharp. Boney sends men up the road to Brussels. Across the river at Charleroi. 
The Catabra is here. Lots of men. I went back to make sure. Horse, guns, foot. Is it a fight? Are they attacked by Mons? Wellington swears they will. Cut him off from the sea. Catabra. That's where it's a crossroads. This is a road to Brussels. This is the road the Prussians must use to get towards we to them. If Boney gets across it, and we both stop from helping each other, and I'm led believe we can't beat Boney without the Prussians. Can we? No. Could still be a feint. No. Too many committed. I sent by report post ace Wellington. Lots of bayonets and guns coming up. The way the frogs do it when they mean it. Where does Orange bounce? With the hole. He found himself an English one. <laughs> Daniel! Thought you said you were getting too old for this. <laughs> Harris, still a sort of bloody poetry and stuff. <laughs> His boots. wisdom. Today I tussled at the popping crease. Tonight I gallop at the Duchess of Richmond's ball. And soon, soon I must wade into the blood of battle. <laughs> Get out, whore. And keep me my strength for my seat and my sword. I'll get you listed as a sergeant since I'm double dutchery. I'm a bloody light dragoon or something. Never seen any tale of them. Lacked, I suspect. Gone back to Borne. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell, Patrick. <laughs> Not you. It is. It is. You came! I did. I did come. I did. <laughs> sit down. Sit down, Pat. Have some wine. Daniel, make room for Sergeant Major Harper. <laughs> Mr. Harper. Mr. Patrick Harper. Ooh. Horse trader to the gentry. Gentleman. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what, you've not enlisted? I have not. The king has had more than his shillings worth out of me, so he has. <laughs> right, that bloody great. <laughs> Cheers. You want? Well, paying would be a nice thing. Don't just me for money. How much you get paid? Me? One pound three shillings and ten pence a day. Why? Are you a general? Lieutenant Colonel. If you live well on that, you could. Well, I could. I do. More money than I've ever been paid in my life. Sad, isn't it? And now you must like get killed. Huh. Not me. Yeah, you will. Oh, what? Yeah, you will. And all that money gone to waste. Shilling? I haven't got time. I've got to go off and get killed. <laughs> <laughs> You want some butter? Cheese. You got a wife? I know you got a woman in Brussels. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Do they? They should mind their own bloody business then. Yeah, I've got a wife. What does she think of your woman? She's got another man in England. Is that all right then? No, it's not all right. They stole me money. A pair of them. I expect you'd kill him, wouldn't you? Yeah. Muskets, line troops. It's volley fire. They've bumped you. I heard it, musket fire. I shall tell Wellington at once. 
Yes, yeah, well, somebody did. Why aren't you in Dutch uniform, Sharp? At the tailor's, sir. You're on my staff, Sharp. I, I, I'm proud of you. Everybody is most impressed that I cast you, so you can't possibly go to a ball dress like that. It ain't the dress of any regiment in the Netherlands Order of Battle. And that's the sword of a butcher. Right, now, who are these two scoundrels? Two of my sergeants, sir. If you let them draw rations and pay. Yes, yes. If you want them. Rebecca? Put them on strength. Doggett? He's not going. The Duchess of Richmond Ball. It hasn't been abandoned. You were invited, were you not? You going? No. But every other officer of note is, and I don't blame them. For most of them, it will be their last. Get some clean linen shop. Take learn of some epaulettes at least, and lead out your affianced. Show her off, Madame de Seleglise. His Royal Highness wants to show you off. A real swashing soldier. And you're his. Be off to the ball, sir. Oh, good balls. If we won't do his job, I will. Harris, Daniel, let's stop them, the French. They're still not sure what they face. Touching. Will you put Lucille on a barge to Antwerp? From there to England, should we lose this fight? I will. You can count on us. God bless you, Kim. God bless you, Pat. They jug, we jerk. Well, make sure you jerk like a battalion of youngins. Both of you. Skirmishes. No guns of cavalry yet, but they're coming. There. Will they fight your boys? Last time I saw such uniforms, you were on the other side. Ah, wasn't there. Yeah. 
Chuck. Sir. You hurt? Not my good, sir. Very well. What? He should be in Dutch uniform. Sir, that's a brazier he's bent for, Boney. I left the 27th Dutch Regiment holding the road from Charleroi. They should keep it tonight. Not tomorrow when the frogs get up, though. Napoleon where? Not seen, sir. Then it's a feint. Napoleon goes to Mons? He does not, sir. I should have been told. I sent a report by one of our patrols. I was not. Is it dereliction? Not on my part, sir. The Dutchman I cannot answer for. So, Lucius Prussians faced attacks today. Nothing serious, he thought, I hope. And tomorrow we march to his aid. But here is the road we take. And here is Catrebra. I cannot get to the Prussians in time except we hold Catrebra. And if we fight to hold it, I will not get to him in time nor he to me, do you see? Will your Dutch regiment stand? Uh, they were when I left them, sir. Oh, not most formidable and credible. Unbucked, by God. We need another day to face him down. Unbucked. Damn well unbuggered. So, capture Bra tomorrow to hold Boney. Give us more time. I will then try to fight him here. Waterloo. In hope the Prussians will get to us. Unbuggery. So, your officers to their regiments, I think, Your Royal Highness. Off you go. You ought to have dressed, Chop. Sir? Try to keep silly Billy out of mischief. That way. You could well fright the ladies. Humbugged. I say. <laughs> you, madam. You! Don't harm me, please! And you! You dare to come. You dare to join. You dare to be in the same bottle begging in the army as me! Get up! Get up and fight! Somebody give me my sword! You have a friend? No, 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 please! Then give me my money. You may keep the whore for an house wipe, you yellow living. Oh, by God, I'll kill you anyway. <laughs> no, no, no! Enough. Get up. By God, I'll fill it you also. You will not. Harry Paget, Richard. Earl Uxbridge, Asses, Lord Wellington, second in command, Asses. Don't do it. You tell him, Harry. I tell. Just tell. Tell him he can have the whore. But I want my money. Uh, I, I shall send it tomorrow. A note. A promissory note to the sum. I fell, Your Grace. Sir. That do him? That'll do him. The money. Tomorrow. Oh. What do we do now? Fight Borny, Harry. Very soon tomorrow. He's unbugged the duke. He's still a marshal. Yes. Oh dear. Up for it again. Ain't hardly dressed for it though. <laughs> I'm mugged him and all. It's because he's in Louis can't be got. Mr. Sharp. Mr. Price, sir. Patsy? She gone? She won't leave without seeing you. Why did you not go? No, I couldn't. I want you to have this. 
It was Xavier's. It's beautiful. I've watched them marching out. Look. English, Dutch, Belgian. Thousands of them. We haven't stopped. Look. It's not enough. We need the Prussians as well. Not enough for most of them raw. There's one regiment, not one man over 20. Children. I've known some children fight like mad dogs. I saw Jane tonight. She's not beautiful, not her. She has no beauty within herself. She shot a cloth beside you. But you loved her once. I said to you, no fancy, no vain wish. You are my life. And I love you, Lucille. I love you, Richard. You will go if we lose. I'll go home. Right. Until Sunday then, late. How do you know? One day to hold him. One day to beat him. Oh, Bonnie. I must confess. I want to see him and I want to see him run. <laughs> Fighting, ma'am. Been an Irishman, I've too much sense for that. I'll keep out of trouble, so I'll Go with God. Good. Now we can get on with it. Indeed we are. This day at the crossroads of Catarabra. He's been seen. Has he been? We're holding the woods, I do believe. Yes. Where are your men? Fighting. Fighting. I stand corrected, Highness. I know very little about uniforms other than my own. Sworn these was yours as is running. Ain't they? Some of them, Lord Uxbridge. Some of them. Come back here, you cow! I never mind men running as long as they come back. My lad, you look blown from your run. Come, do take breath a moment. Then we'll go back and try we can do better. Take heart, soon have some guns up. Uxbridge. Wellington? When? Oh, they do come, I assure you. What are the Prussians? Any word at all? I told the Prussians we would support them, but only if not attacked here. They will have to fight without us today. Listen. Come on, boy! All right! There. The Prussians have started before us. Sharp. You hear those guns, Sharp? Far off. That's the Prussians pasting up the French. Do you hear? Listen. It's French! Oh my God. Now they have guns. Oh, they've always had guns, Your Royal Highness. What they haven't always had is you as a target. 
If your corps is coming up, as you assure me, Uxbridge, how close do you think they are? I want them clear that road. I want to range handsome with guns. Very close. How close? Close. Coming up. Prussians. Prussians. Miles away. Your Royal Highness, I shall need your cavalry. You shall have them, sir. I will lead them. Doggett, at my side. Have you ever ridden the cavalry charge, sir? Just stay on your horse, Tom. So I had to chop his bloody ears off. Now they're really going to give it to us. Now you see, that's not it at all. Not at all! Now we'll try again, shall we? of it. Mon Dieu. Look. Look, sir. That's why they wouldn't go. There. Thousands of lances. And behind them, their infantry. In squares. A job for our guns. That's why. You should have come, Sharp. We were riding to glory. Doggett and I. And I tell you what, Sharp, I tell you. I was not afraid. I am without fear. Without it. I was the damn pity. Oh, some party, Charlie. Thank you, Sergeant. Good to see you, Sergeant. Yeah, good to see you, sir. Keep her going, Patsy. You got to be fighting with us, sir. Go to your back, Colonel. Oh, I'm back here. My command here. My battalion. Pay for it. Paid enough for it, by God. Mine. Run to Wales home. Halt. Good work, Harry. And my damned ears have gone too now, what? Got your money note from that chap in the lobsters? No. Going to call him out, are you? God, I hate jewels. Can't drink. Won't come to that. I'll just find a bugger and spay him. That should do the trick. Do leave him enough gristle to piss through, though. 
cavalry. Oh, there's two brigades of the murderous weepings. Lancers and all sorts of bastard varieties. Head down there. I've not enough guns with which to tidy them. So mind I told you so, sir. Right the wild hound! Hog square! Well, sir, of the 5th Brigade. Yes, 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 you see, I thought they were mine. Why? Can you tell me why, Sharp? Why have they formed square to be shot at, Sharp? <clears throat> they will pound us, sir. They will poke us with their lances. And they will pound us some more, hoping to make us run, to break square, to get us into line, when they will have us like so. Now, because we have no cavalry to take on their cavalry, you haven't sent them home, and not enough guns up yet to break the marauding. I see no cavalry. They're there, which is why the battalions have formed square. They are not there to form tempting targets for French gunners, sharp, dogged, orders, time. Sharp, this to the commander of the 5th Brigade and make it brusque. Tell him, tell him, form line and give fire, not skulk in squares, being shot ragged, hiding from illusory, illusory cavalry. But they're there, in the dead ground, on the right. Exactly, and this brigade is on the left, is it not? Sharp! You came to me on the highest recommendation. Just take it. Take it! No. No. No! That order will kill them all. I shall not take it. Dog it! You can't. Rebecca? Colonel Sharp is sent off the field in ignominy. Very well. Might I return to fight with my own battalion? Well done, volunteers! Oh, I'm lying! What an idiot! What a dirty little Dutch buffle brain bastard! Put on his pox crown up his royal pox arse! A blue blooded twat. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come to see us fight, Sharp. Might I suggest you form square? Is that an order from Brigade? It's a suggestion. Don't follow suggestions, Sharp. Follow orders. Our guns at last. And French cavalry. 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 Where are they going? Surely the Prince of Orange has had his men form square? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Enemy cavalry, sir. Oh. 
Are they French? My God, they are! Uh, uh, tell them to form square. It's too late. How could it be too late? They must form square. You always form square to receive cavalry. Always, Rebecca. Form square! In bloody line. For God's sake! Oh God. My brother's just joined, you see. I shall not look. Oh. Save him. I do not see it. Did you? They're all saying they saw him. But I never did. Did you see Boney yesterday at Quatre Bras? No? No more did I. But he was out there. Beating the Prussians. He beat them. Sent them packing up north, so he did. So they're not cut off from us after all. I heard that straight from the horse's mouth. A galloper. Of the roast and boiled. Who'd heard it first hand. From a walloping mick of the six skins. Who saw them Prussians with his own eyes, so he did. So indeed to God. They might come and help us after all. Well. Help you. For I am a soldier no more. Rather a. Quiet, quiet gentleman, so I am. <laughs> what did you promise, Lucille? I promised her I wouldn't march again. <laughs> and here I am. All to see Borny. He wasn't there. It will be tomorrow. I know I didn't see him. None did. Oh, they may lie to you, Mr. Harper. That's right. They lie. They all lie. And will I tell you why they lie? Simply, those that have seen him is dead. You see him and you die. Because he's surrounded by the buggers with their tin frocks and their, their spears and, and their... <coughs> Jesus. And their guns. Of which I might add, there are many. He could, of course, go home to your lady and your land, till the good earth, reap its bounty. I can't. Not yet. 
If you don't go now, you may never go. Shall we go back to see Ramona? And miss the battle? Not glimpse Borny. Eat. It's French. It's good. Though I am a bit of a cannibal, so I am. Brace of them myself. Came back for a souvenir. Well done, sir. Once you get past the lance point, it's like killing rabbits. Ah. Damn, Damn thing, fright the horse. I thought we'd stop using them damn inferno things. You don't come, you don't be seen. Has the horse spent my money? Not. <clears throat> Not all of it. Your note for what's left. Now. Yes. Of course. You're not worth fighting. You want to? I'll sell it to you. What we do where I come from? Take our faithless wives to market. Bit of rope round their necks and bid for them. You pink bastards do that. My lord? I don't know. You don't know? I know. Here's the rope. Thank you. No, no. Your servant. She's yours. I just hope it's worth the paper. It isn't. I'll be back, so I shall. <laughs> Those damn things. Now to apologise to that little Dutch idiot I shot on yesterday. I need the money, so help me. Hey, did we scrape them at Quatre Bras or what? We did. We won. We bloody did. Prussians didn't. Prussians did. So we came back to keep them company. Here, Waterloo. What's that noise? <laughs> snoring. Frogs snoring. Harris. Yes, Dan. What is your first name? And neither will I married be until the day that I die. For the billows roar and the far in war uttered my lord and I. What do you do tomorrow? What do you eat, Oxbridge? Much the same. Does the army want for anything? 
Damn it, what do you do tomorrow? What plans have you? Plans? I'm second in command. I ought to know. As soon as Napoleon Bonaparte tells me what he's going to do, I shall know what I'm going to do. And I shall tell you. But as Boney has not yet confided in me, I cannot confide in you. So to you, B. Fastbridge. Adulterous rogue. I accept your apologies, Sharp. I, I do, but it's, it's, it's very dif difficult <laughs> to know when to order square and, 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 and line. It can be a very fine judgment, and the best of us is, is often hoodwinked. My philosophy is, when in doubt, form line, for when in square you can't easily form a column to... Run, sir. Damn me, that's uniform sharp. In for repair, sir. Drain out is having silk lace. Colours have run, sir. All the yellow's gone red. Well, wear it tomorrow, wet or no. Now, I have decided that you will tomorrow be here. The farm of La Haye Salt. Why is it important, sharp? It's at the centre, sir. Up the road from Catterbra. Centre of Wellington's position and... No, sharp. Pivotal. On my flank, and pivotal. Now, if we lose this position, we're in a very bad way indeed. If we look like we are going to lose it, you will extricate yourself with great daring in Dutch uniform, so that all can see, and tell me at... Once. You're hurrying, sir. I am, Tom. I could not stay there another minute without a hitting. Mind you, he's right about La Hesson. You have a good commission. What do you do with silly Billy and his stuff? I'm a serious officer, sir, and I would learn all I can. All I can. Well, you won't learn from him. He's not with a silk stocking full of shit. my name on the door, I see. Do you not bring yourself to do it? What would it say? Lieutenant Colonel Sharp. Arsewiper to the Prince of Orange. Arsewiper to the Prince of Orange? No, 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 no. Wouldn't say that. Because then I might be guilty of rank, cheek or written impotence. I'd write... still want to see Borny? More than ever. Might ask him for a job. Lost me pistol. Broke me sword, but got three of them by God. What sort of lances? Pretty sky blue ones. The trick is to get past the lance point. Then it's a bit like killing rabbits. I tried it, sir. You are quite right. Lord Uxbridge kindly tutored me in doing it. I wish Wellington would tell me how he's to do it. Their guns? There were no bloody lancers today. He broke my sword with a spoon. Sharp. I won't tell. Thank you. Well, he got his note for the money. Much good will it do him? I have no money. Jane won't give me any more till I marry her. He gave her to me. He said he'd sell her some ghastly country custom that swine sell their wives with us. I love her to distraction, you know. More than honour. But to keep her, I must kill him. He's a far better man than I am.
So tomorrow it is her and my honour. It is to do with honour, isn't it, old chap? Not duels. There is one way you can win all, you know. Is there? How? Fight like a blue hero tomorrow. Tee up, lad! Daniel, speak, sir. When will he start it? Bony. Early. Yeah. He'll want to get us beat before the Prussians come. Are they coming? Oh, they're coming. Sharp! Sharp! Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good to see you up early. Now, do you see the elm tree up there? That's where the Duke will be. You see the farm? That's where you will be. And we line the ridge sharp, men and guns. And that... That's where the Prussians will come. They now, are coming, I... sir. Oh, yes. They certainly are. Now, um... Are we certainly coming, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, I shall be... Uh... Sharp, would you stop looking at that damn map? Now, Sharp, do you not wish to know where I shall be? Sharp, I'm trying to tell you. Where shall you be, sir? I shall be everywhere. Everywhere. And you bloody will as well. Might I wish you joy in the day, Sharp? You might. And I, you, sir. I have the utmost regard and sympathy for you, sir. Rebecca! Follow me! Should he survive, he will one day be king of the Netherlands. And my sovereign. He's not such a bad fellow at heart. And he's very proud he has. You, Colonel. <laughs> Is he by God? You're a good shot, Daniel. Make me a happy man. Strictly between you and me, of course. Is that where the Prussians are coming from? If they come. Until they do, it's going to be bloody murder. So... You still say you're going to keep out of trouble, so you will. His Emperor Borne will come at us like a battering ram. He has more guns and he'll pound us. Then he'll come straight for us. And here, in this nook shot and farm, is where he'll get stopped. Or not. He has enough men. And he'll wrap and rend his bloody. And they haven't even started putting holes in a cowing wall yet to shoot at him. Gentlemen, baggage to the rear. Taken from them for another job. Well, no tools to make loopholes. Well, they lost all their mules yesterday, with all the trench and tools. The poor mules will have been eaten, most likely. We'll have to barricade the roads and the entrances. What happened to the gates? Well, these gates were burned by an English regiment for firewood, to keep themselves warm and dry their clothes. The main gates have been put back, burned or not.
pockets and the bloody frogs. Stop! Stop! What a day it'll be! Over all the years that I've been fighting the French, I have become sick and bloody tired of that shite music that they play. And I am so I have. Planning to bring the Belgians back to their side to make them run. Compliments of the guns, Your Grace. They have Boney in range. He's about to pass into their sights. Should they give fire on him? With a spoon, it is not the business of army commanders to fire upon each other. Save your ammunition! Wait! You will yet wear out your guns! First gun, Somerset. It's started. Second gun. I give you today's fox, gentlemen. Today's fox. Today's fox. Boom. This is my friend, Mr. Harper, from Ireland. Ah, trying to sell you something. A whole troop of chaps tried to sell things for the Duke. What time? What, what time did it stop? The cannonade. I have it as ten minutes of midday, but the Duke likes it accurate, you see. What time is it now? Oh, um... Four minutes after midday, save a few. You best write down that they're coming, then. Coming? The French. They're advancing. Ah, 
So they are. Thank you, my dear fellow. I might have missed that. Come on. They stay here and fight them with us. Sharp, dear fellow. It's immensely kind of you, but I'm on the Duke's family, you see. And he never lets us have any of the fun. I do wish you joy of the day. Stay with the horse. Sergeant. About 2,000, sir. Shouldn't be too many at all. The most of them in, sir. Dead ground. Give them two volleys and then run. Cut out! Cut right! Present!
Silly Billy stuff. Uh -huh. Macduff, out of the guards. Second in command of Major Bearing. Second King's German Legion. Will you forgive me? It's all right, you little bugger. We stopped eating French drummer boys for the smell. <laughs> Cavalry. A lot of it. Now well, that won't do. They've lost La Haye Sant. No, sir, it's still garrisoned, still fighting. No, no. They must take it back. You! Silly bloody Billy again. Form square. I've been That happens a close run thing. Close Why didn't they form a square? They should have formed square, you see, against cavalry. Again? I saw it. A damn fool. Faddle thought did it again, advanced in line against cavalry. I took drawings for him. They should have formed square, Rebecca. Will you never. Will a little prick never learn? Come on, Patsy, we're going. Open the gates! Where are you going? As far away from you and your royal bloody Prince of Orange pips as I can. You want to stay here? Right here. They don't need me here. They're real soldiers here. They don't need me to tell them how to do it. Oh my gates! Brisk! Arrest him. Arrest him at once! Heavy and subordinate swine. I'll have you hanged for desertion. I'll have you shot. Will somebody not shoot me this scum down?
Look at this. Now you can say you've seen Boney. Yeah. I'm swatting all. Fix it! Yeah. We're going back. your colonel's pay. Look at it. Worth it though. I've been able to tell that little Dutch shithead where to go. I suppose. And book at him. There you go, the cavalry. What horses they have. Finest horses in all of Europe, so they are.
There's no to keep us there, Patrick. I don't know. So what do you do? So where are the Prussians? Fighting their own battle, most like. Where do you go? I'll fetch Lucille. Go back to England. Even if we... Even if they win. It'll be a good few months, years, before we can go home back to the farm. It is home now, Patrick. France, Normandy. Oh, yeah. God save Ireland. Do you know what that is? It's their cavalry. It's their cuirassiers. It's their chasseurs. It's their damn blasted lances. Oh, bugger it. You know, it's a pity we never got to see Bonnie and. Yeah. And. Yeah. Shall we go back? I think we will. We left many friends there. Not be called a coward. No, damn it. No, not cowardice. Not that. Just so you may dance and prance and make high cockalorum while men die horribly? It is too much. I declare too much. I shall say it. You, sir, are a silk stocking full of shit. Guard. 
Almost seven, sir. What news of the Prussians? None, sir. He did it again. How many more men will he kill? That's my commission gone to the blazes, I dare say. But it had to be said. Daniel Hagman. Harris. He won't kill any more. Now you have caused trouble. Good are you? You little bit of a Dutch bastard! They were soldiers, Hagman and Harris. They knew they would die. They were mine. I chose them. They fought with me. Now, I'll only get one shot. Now, Patrick, this is a hanging matter and I'll plug him dead. So you keep out of it. Right. You just keep out of it. Aim for his belly. Very good, sir. Shot they will be, sir. Now rise up the south of Hands! 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 Now, Mason, now's your time. Stand up, guards and atoms! The Prince of... Damn it. The south of Essex will advance. Right shoulders forward. Mark! We've got a flight, lads! You see me? I'm your colour! Me! Up! Up! We're ready! Freeze it! Fire! 
garde Recule Your Grace. What are you waiting for? Forward and complete your victory. Don't let them stand. See them off our land. Your battalion, Mr. Sharp. I'm beholden to you. To you all. Now go on, go on. They won't stand. Russians are here. Well, let's see if we can find something useful for them to do. Go on, Sharp! You've beaten the old guard, man! They won't stand! Oh, my God, I saw him! I saw him! <laughs> Well, I came for sodas. <laughs> Goodbye, Colonel Sharp. Goodbye, Mr. Hopper. <laughs> <laughs>